And as a matter of fact, just a fast one for people say, what if I wanted to ping all of these pages plus all of these pages plus all of these pages and so on and so forth. What if I wanted to ping them all? Do I have to come here to copy all of these? And then if I copy them, then I can go to my ping service and, and paste them in and ping them. Can I just do them all at once? And the answer is yes for each project you do, each master sitemap. Let me show you how it works. Go to any master sitemap.html. And here's what we did. This is awesome. Change the .html in the address bar to .txt, click, and guess what? All of these are UTF-8 encoded. That's the text file with UTF-8 encoded links. That means it's good for Google Webmasters, and yes, we intentionally submit our sitemaps to Google Webmasters if we want to help raise ranking. They're white hat pages. You're not trying to sneak. You're brazenly telling Google flat out that you did this, and that's important. It's good. It helps rank faster. I can select all, I can copy, and I can ping. This includes all of those links that were generated in all of those sub-site maps. In other words, this is those 200 links <clears throat> that are spread around all these sub-site maps for each section. Okay, And even these are organized. The internet advertising links are in the internet advertising site map. The online advertising links are in the online advertising site map. <clears throat> and on and on and on, mass backlinks inside there. So that's how that works, it's very awesome, it's done automatically. And all the pages, like I said, are optimized. They're all connected to the front page because there is a link to the master on the front page. <clears throat> all right, so they're not orphaned. And that link leads to the links for all of the projects that ever get put up here with all of their sub-site maps and everything else. All right, now that I said all that, <clears throat> let me step back and say, how hard is it to do this newbie? You just, you don't know anything technical. You don't know anything about SEO. You don't know anything about sitemap generation. You barely know anything about how to get a domain and host it and use FTP or anything like that. So the question is, how easy can I make it for you to at least start and get a footing with pages that basically fill all the right criteria that are very solid SEO pages? And again, it's funny because this is it. That's this V4 project, and our worst production uh, that's meant for mass production to you guys, and it is literally our worst production is better than virtually anything else you can find in terms of quality, on-page SEO, flexibility, being able to change the variables however you want. Um, the number of inbound links per page, the number of outbound links per page, where they go, uh, whether sitemaps, whether any link opens in a new tab, whether you want to change out the image, whether you want to have a redirect for their, your destination file so you can just change the redirect link. You can put the pages on WordPress sites, just they go in their own folder and you'll see how that works. So anyway, what are those steps now? I did a lot of talking. Here's what it is. Here are the steps. <clears throat> Let me make sure to get this right. Now I'm going to start this off just as a test to see what I could do. Let's go to moji-crew.com. Okay, and here is where you get a 10 day free trial key. You can do this for yourself for as many projects as you want, 10 days, get used to it, see whether you like it or not before you ever consider buying or renting to own. We do have a monthly rent to own subscription option. It's awesome. Now, that's for getting your 10 day free. Okay, and you can do this for as many projects as you want on as many websites as you want with minimal understanding of anything. And you can graduate to the rest of the UAP whenever you're ready, the V3, which is more complex. How do you do it? Here's how you do it. When you go here and you get your key or whatever, scroll down. Here's the Moji training videos. Okay, step one, go here so that you can find this. It's called the Streamlined UAP Training. Simple explanation and instructions. Watch this. You're going to go here and just watch the first part. That's it. You can watch the rest if you want to fill in and understand the V3, which is more complex, or you can do this other part I'm going to show you first, first, <laughs> so that you can get used to it. But you do need to install the software, and that's what part one does. It shows you how to install the software. And yeah, it's 28 minutes because it goes through all the little stuff that trip people up in different server, well, computer configuration environments, whether you're on XP, Vista, or Windows 7, this will work. And if you have Excel 2010, it will work. If you have Excel 2007, it should. Um, and if you don't get it, 
you can get a 60-day free trial fully functional from Microsoft.com and you can do that like this Microsoft.com for those who don't know just real fast go to downloads office trials <clears throat> and get office professional 2010 try it free that's the one you should get and it allows the macros and everything else to run and it's try it free for 60 days it's 60 days free no reason you can't earn the money up to buy it or prepare yourself to buy it or whatever you know within those 60 days all right so you can check this stuff out anytime you want and if you do get that and you're on a dual core quad core computer be sure to install the 64-bit version it's just oh so much faster and cleaner and everything you're gonna love it to death okay all right so that was step one go to moji-crew.com get your key anyway then go to the training videos and you're told in the email where they are when you get it go here to the UAP training and watch part one you can maximize it and you can also change the um, the the video resolution so you can see it very clearly okay that's the first step now when you install the v4 and the v4 alt that's what you're gonna wind up doing you're gonna get a zip file called v4.zip when you unzip it you're gonna get two folders called v4 and v4 dash alt highlight them cut them from your desktop or wherever it was that you had them and you're gonna go to your C drive right in your C drive and you're just gonna paste them in there and I'm not going to because those were shortcuts here's why I pasted them in and I got my v4 and v4 alt then just right click each one hit send to desktop and you create a shortcut to each one okay send to desktop and that's what I have here you can tell they're shortcuts <clears throat> all right because they have arrows on them that means they're shortcuts and they're showing you the location what is the difference between v4 and v4 alt just memorize this in the v3 it uses geo targeting you're gonna see that in a sec if I open this up it's got geo targeting so you can put in city state lists and we have a master list of all the city states in the US right here so it's huge it's 32,800 or so um, yeah city states 32,816 okay and you can copy paste in here for geo targeting like I said we're gonna do a dentist for an area in California that's gonna be one of our examples in the v3 it's done and in the v4 it's done the same way that was the first thing I thought up to do and so it's got these location fields you just copy in the location once and then you copy it in here again there's a reason for having it twice but just that's all you need to know copy paste copy paste okay is basically the idea then your keywords go here and then copy paste copy paste so two for location three for keywords okay just they're copies that's all they are it's the same thing again that's all you need to know okay don't even worry about why but because people were saying what if whoops sorry okay what if <clears throat> I want to do a run for some internet marketing stuff like automated forex software or I want to do something like for homeopathy that's nationwide it could be anything weight loss pills who cares what but it's nationwide not geo targeted I came out with the v4 dash alt that's basically the same project rewritten so it does not focus on geo targeting there is no geo targeting here this just goes straight into the keywords keyword as you can see it's been copied and pasted copied and pasted but there is nothing here about geo targeting this is other stuff okay so just keep in mind if you want to use geo targeting then use the v4 if you don't use the v4 dash alt okay that's the alternate form of the v4 that has no geo targeting okay and if you ever get confused by the two just open the file open the vars.csv you see here and you'll see whether it has location whether it has this var 6 and var 6000 or not rule of thumb never screw with the header rows in these because we need those placeholders I think I mentioned it it bears repeating <laughs> all right so anyway let's talk about how hard this is to do so you install the software 
and you install this v4 and you put the shortcuts on your desktop and they have just default information in them something that you're going to want to overwrite for your own project let's actually do some work watch this this is how easy it is let's do our first job let's say we do not want geotargeting because that's even easier isn't it that's less to think about open the file open the vars.csv real quick do not touch something else all right do not touch any of these unique files this is bridging files that help the moji pro software understand the csv file it creates this and manipulates this on its own don't do it yourself don't open anything that says unique just open the vars okay so we open the vars and we got our three keyword columns we can recognize them it has what looks like keywords in var2 var201 var204 Okay, those are the keyword columns, var2, var201, var204. Okay, just starts in var2, and it goes three out. Okay, now, real quick, for those who can't read this very well because it's all scrunched up, here's the way to see it temporarily opened up in a CSV file. Go to this guy right here between your A and your 1, just click on that. That highlights everything. Now go over any of these bars where you see the double arrow and double click. There. Now you can read everything. All right, what do we need to do? This is it right here. Put the name of the thing you're promoting. It can be anything. I have a company called Moji Crew. Maybe I'm promoting the company, so I'll call it Moji Crew. Maybe I want to promote a product, and so I'll call it Moji Pro. Yes, I can put a dash in there or whatever I want. That's fine. It's text. I can put a dash in there. It may not work if you put a dollar sign at the beginning or a pound sign. All right, just keep that in mind. Use something generic. Um, if you're an Empower Network guy, you know, you might do like this. You might say Empower Network. You might even say Empower Network Group or, or whatever, Mastermind Group or whatever it is that you want to call yourself. Okay, you could go automated forex software. You could say and whatever it is that you want to call yourself. So let me just put something in here that looks like a company name so we can recognize it on a production. I'm just going to call it Forex SB. Okay, now what do you put here? The link where you want stuff to go. Let's say I've got some kind of an affiliate link on Forex SB, and I don't even know what that is or whether I whether any of you use it or anything. All I know is that. <laughs> It's, it's here, and so it came up for automated Forex software, so I can just use something. Let's say I want to lead people right to my affiliate page for Forex software, and let's just say my affiliate page looks something like this, you know, F equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? Control all, control C. Now, I don't know if that'll actually work as a link to click on or not. It doesn't mean it's real. Oh, it does bring me there, though, so I'm just going to use it and pretend it's a real link, okay? Boom. So that's it. Yes, I can do that. It can be a ClickBank link, a short URL, whatever you want. What do we do so far? We put in a name. We put in a link. That's it. This is the name that goes with that link. Pretty simple. Now what do we do? Okay. You can change these if you want because it's going to say things in combination. It could say Forex SB provider on the page. Forex SB company on the page, Forex SB carrier. You don't really have to care much because people aren't going to be focused on the pages you present as much as they are shown the big fat banner to click on, which in here is just shown with a JPG. In the V3, you'll learn how to change this to any image you want. So you can grab an image, make an image, you snag it to create an image as a matter of fact somebody made a point of saying this thank you steve he said those of you who do not have snag it if you want to get snag it okay and i just heard about this recently so sorry for all you guys i didn't know about before but if you go to buy it okay and it's an awesome screen capture tool you can make a picture out of anything okay um you can just get english electronic only but look at this promotional code Guess what? Put in Jing Pro, J I N G P R O. Maybe it needs to be in caps. And if you update the price, I guess, yeah, it goes down by half. That's how you get Snagit for half price. Ain't that cool? What can you do with Snagit? Just really fast, ugly example. I'm going to make a picture I want. Let's say I'm promoting this thing. I don't know why, but let's just say I am. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to put an arrow in here that's red. It says, hey, da-da-da-da-da. I'm going to put some text in here. You know, 
and I can make it a box like that or transparent. I can say, check this out, you know, and I can do whatever I want with it. And yeah, you can do all kinds of things with Snagit that are completely awesome. Those of you who always wondered how do people do stuff like this, they use a tool like Snagit. And Snagit's just an awesome tool. Boom, boom. <laughs> and I could click off and you just see kind of how it looks, right? And you can just say, put in Gene Pro, you know, that things like that. And then you can circle it, right? And so, yeah, you can make your images just as powerful as you want. If I want to change the shape, I'll change it to a circle. And then I can change the color of the circle, like from a green to a red or anything I want to do. You know, it's very easy. And you can move it, you know, and so you can get it just right. Okay, so take a look at that. Anyway, that's the coolness of Snagit. All right, you can make all these images because now you can save it as any kind of an image you want. You can file save as if you don't want it to be a PNG, make it a JPG, make it anything else, BMP, GIF, you know, whatever you want. Give it any name you want. Check out. And then guess what you have? You have an image and you can use your own image. So the only thing I'm going to say from that is if you want to use your own image, got to put that image in this Moji V4 files box because that's where the default click for here image is. Click here image. That's the one that we have as a default so you don't have to think about it. And of course it can work for everything because it's just that. Best Forex software program. Click here. You know, click a, above photo for the best Forex software program or uh, click here for and it could be anything. That's just it. It's just a generic button so you can kind of see what's going on. Your conversions won't be as good as if you use a banner. I created this banner. That's awesome. It says click above image to learn how to do this or whatever it says on the page. And people want to click on it. And why not? And it takes them to the website. Okay. That's all cool. Then we just got to upload that. And that's, again, I'm going to save that for UAP V3 because why not? Take a look at this then. Let's get back to our run. What do we do? Name, link, and by the way, this is where you would change the image if you wanted to create your own, go change it. That's what let me off on the whole Snagit chat, but let's say you don't want to. You just want to get used to this right now because you can make the pages, make other ones, make other ones with our Sandbox website. I don't care how good or how bad they are. There's the name. There's the link. I'm going to leave this alone. You can change it if you want. Just do not leave any blanks in the data. Don't have anything like that. If you do, delete that move stuff up okay shift cells up do not shift cells left that pulls everything this way that throws everything off we got to go up right shift cells up and there you go now it's perfect you can change the names you can say firm you can say dental clinic all right anything you want depending on what you're trying to promote it's okay it's all okay there we go i'm back to normal now how do I handle the keywords? These are old ones. Watch this. Moji Toolbar V17, Format Sheet, Drop All. Click on V2, Shift Click, V204, VAR204, Submit. It's all gone. Ain't that awesome? What's that mean I do? I take my keywords, and let's say my first project is this Forex one. I just copy them. You know, wherever you got your keywords is wherever you got your keywords. I'm not trying to explain that in this series. Paste them in. You can use Control V as in Victor to paste. They're in. Now what do you do? Last step on this file. Hit Menu Generator and select VAR2. Put a 10 here. 1, 0. Not 1, 0, 0. Just 1, 0. Submit. Done. That's it. Save the file from here and close it from here. We prepared our pages completely, complete with all the SEO and virtually all the sitemap stuff we need to know is done. We just need to produce them now. Really, that's how close we are to finishing this run. We just started it, didn't we? I mean, really, I put that in, put that in, and then deleted what was here with, with the um, format sheet drop all function. And then I just pasted in my keywords three times. And then I hit the menu generator, selected VAR2. Yes, you can do it again if, you're, if you don't remember whether you did it. 10, submit, done, save, close. And when you close it, you don't need to save it again because you just did. You just hit the blue floppy icon and hit save. So when you hit the red icon up here, you can hit don't save and it's faster. Trust me.